we already have our windows and doors marked so now we are going to prepare our door and window schedule so let's begin with the door schedule now with this <coughs> within the project map which is this one right here you can you can scroll all the way down and then you will see something called schedules okay so this is what you want to click on and then we have something called elements okay so under elements we can see we have uh wall schedule all openings door schedule and then window schedules let's click on door schedule so you can see this is the default schedule that is being prepared presented to us if we go down here and click on this arrow here it will expose to you all the doors that are present and you can see that they have been captured and in order to zoom in and see the things we might want to click again on here on the percentage such that we get to a hundred percent and this is what it looks like so you can choose the percentage in order to see uh, closer in or out okay so currently you can see we have a lot of information here which is sometimes what you want and sometimes you do not need a lot of this information so how do we streamline this to be uh, a simple door schedule that is kind of usable so let's see so for that i like to keep the element id which is the number that we assign to each door and then as well i like to keep and a lot of other parameters as we are going to discuss so let's to do that let's go to the scheme settings so you want to click on scheme settings which is at the top right here and then here is where you we put in the filters that help us to define how our schedule is going to look like first of all this is the very first filter which shows that whatever we have here is actually in the branch of doors in the classification of doors and that we do not want to touch it and then we want to just look have a look at what is prepared here for us by default so if i scroll down here we have a lot of information here to do with fire resistance all the way to security rating i like to hold down shift and click at the end and remove all of this because i do not need it for now for this example so as well i do not need the information about the zone from zone to zone which is this information about uh, the door is in between studio A and the entrance but I just want to have these two and delete them okay so I do also do not need this dynamic classification because I already have the door marker so I'll get rid of it remove and then I would like to replace the library part name because i do not like how it actually names it so i would like to create a custom name so i will remove that as well and remove also the other information that i do not need like the seal height and head height and the orientation as well okay because i do not want to see this left and right orientation in my case okay so the only things that i'm left with will be the id the quantity the sizes and then 2d and 3d symbols and for the sake of the more inf the other kind of information that i need i will need to add a field so let's add field for under general here we can pick custom text okay so let's pick two custom text one is going to be for the location of that door and then one is going to be for the description of that door so we're going to move this description to just below the id okay and then we can also switch if you click on this arrow here we can just switch this such that the quantity is just below here and then as well this 3d back view which is the front uh, the elevation actually of this door so we can put that just below the description and then we have the, the size and the plan uh, 
there so this is the arrangement that i like to see so you can move things around to whatever suits best for you okay so i will click, click press press ok and just like that you can see that we have this kind of arrangement where we have the id we have uh, a custom text where we will put description we have an elevation view of these doors size and then 2d symbol quantity and this panel which we will call location of that window or door and you can see that the number of doors has actually re reduced and that's because we have removed a lot of redundant information so these doors have been merged all to, to scale down the amount of doors we are looking at okay so for that so after that, let's zoom in uh, by clicking here on the percentage such that we are on 100% or you can even zoom in further to like 50 to like 125%. And then <clears throat> we can rename how these doors have been named. Okay, so we can make this as door marker. And then just below that, we have what we will call the description, which is the description of that door. And then below that, we have the elevation or the front view of that door. And then we have the wind, width, width and then height size. So this one will be fine. But then we have the 2D plan symbol. Let's make it 2D plan symbol. symbol. And then below that, we have the quantity. And then finally, we have the location or where that door has been, is going to be located and those those will be the things so for this let's left align them click on left align bold them such that that is what you get this description as well we left align and then bold and then as well we can move this around in order to enlarge the space because the description is going to be a little bit taller here then we can increase some space on this quantity and location as well So if you wanted to mess around with the you know font you can always put what you like to see for the default font of these things okay but for now i'm happy with this okay and once i click here you can see it's looking kind of cool okay so now let's put in some information within that door okay so let's click here wrap text such that we are able to enter information in here and then below is where that door is is located once you're not sure, you can always click here on this door and then select it in 3D. If you click on this icon here, it will select whatever you have selected in 3D. And then you can orbit around by pressing O in order to see where it is. And you can see that it is on this studio space which opens to the balcony. Okay, so you can go back in the schedule and add that information that this is at the balcony on the first floor. And for the next door, we can copy this same information, put it there because it's also a double door that is sliding. Perhaps it has a transform, but not a side light, a fixed glass side light. So we can live with a vent slash transform only and then we copy this and put it here and this door is not a siding a sliding door but rather a side hang door so this is a sliding door but this time a double this time it is a timber paneled door 
and it's not a sliding but folding and without a vent sash transom so we get rid of the vent sash transom part and then the next one is not a double door but a single door which is side hang instead of a panel door so we copy that and then put it on the final one which is uh, a single casement with a transom as well and this appears on washrooms this one on studios here on the corridor while this one leads to the stair and this guy at the entrances which are on the ground and just like that we have ourselves a fully complete door schedule for our drawing